Welcome back, everybody. <laughs> Are you ready to play a new round of our antiques appraisal game called What's It Worth? Antiques expert Dr. Lori pulled five items from the many pictures you sent us to appraise, and David and I will try and guess the worth. And you can play along at home, too. Hi, Dr. Lori. Hi, good morning. How are you? Great. And you have an 80s theme on your table today. It's all 80s today. <laughs> I love right? it. Just about when I was born. <laughs> it too. takes me back, yes. <laughs> okay. All right. So yeah. up first, we have uh, a clock sent in by Phyllis. Can you tell us about this one? Phyllis has a Canadian clock. And you see the beaver at the top? She wrote the actual composite beaver sculpture at the top of that clock is intended. It's not like somebody added that. <laughs> And Phyllis wrote that her dad used to want her to paint it over. <laughs> oh, no. Now, you say it's a Canadian clock. Canadian Is that significant? Clock. Yes, it's significant. The beaver trade of Canada, of course. Oh, OK. It's a late 19th century, early 20th century clock. It has a porcelain face and dial, and it is in a walnut wooden case. Oh, wait, there's a question that we're supposed to ask about watches and clocks. Is it something about the mechanics in the back? Okay. Does it have to be working? If it's in working condition, that's fine, but it doesn't usually impact value because you can get the clock to work with a professional clock maker or yeah. horology. Does this one work? Works. Okay. Hmm. I don't know what something like this goes I know. I, I, I'm I have parts. Parts. Okay. But it's kind of cool. Cool looking. It is. Dr. Lori, I think that David is on a roll recently. I think mine was just dumb luck in the beginning, but David is no, really. No, I mean, I, I don't know. I, I know I've won two in a row, but let's see how the, today goes. Okay. Come on, Heather. Let's 225 work it. I have. I'm going to say 250 $2,500. No kidding. Dr. Lori. Yes, stop it. it. That I am right so, out the shoe. So, it's a very rare clock. And, and that's wow. the reason why, because it is so yeah. rare. Okay. Rarity. That Usually is... the, the fevers are gone and the, the case is broken and they're old. It's nice. Wow. Well, Phyllis. good for Phyllis. Thank God she didn't yeah. paint over that. Uh, no, can you imagine if she yeah. painted over it? All wow. Right, next we have Dad. from Mary Ann some mermaids. Oh, look at um, these. You know, okay. I saw the mermaids and I thought of my aunt Chris in Connecticut. My aunt, my mother, Italian family, everybody lived right near each other, down the street, across the street, down the road, the whole thing. And my Aunt Chris had the mermaids and the fish in the bathroom. That's what these are. They're wall <laughs> decorations from the 60s. I remember things like this. Yeah. But, you know, yes. you put them up as a pair in the bathroom. Yeah. Yes. And you, you go to someone else's house and you're like, oh, look at the mermaids. Is and look how beautiful they are in terms of condition. They're in yeah. gorgeous shape. Now, is the one, it looks like there's something on it. Is it cracked or is that like a... Um, like no, I think that's the reins of the dolphin. Okay, uh, yeah, it's hard okay. for me to see on the like screen. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, don't think it's cracked. I think they're in very good shape. And they would hang on the wall, uh, you know, on a hook. All right, this is tough because I feel like people might be in the market for this type of thing from the 60s again, right? Yeah. Is that yeah. true, Dr. Lori? Oh, yeah, mid-century is still very big, particularly the 1960s. Interesting. Okay. Um, that means that. I don't know who, I, I don't even know what to ask that would gain, give me any knowledge of it. Yeah, okay. I don't know. Um, okay. I don't, wait, hold on. A, do you really like it? Do you decorate like this? You know, are you sort of in the trends of decorating or do you have a, a staid way to decorate? Just, I'm you saying know, one stock. $75. I'm saying 100 bucks. 50 bucks for the pair. Oh, oh you're closer. Right. Okay, so we're tied then. We're one although one. the first one, I'm not okay. sure I can really take you, that point. It's must, really far away. Please. Come All right, on. if you insist, I will. Okay. Uh, next up is a plate from Sherry. Okay. Ooh. Sherry found this plate. She oh, wow. found it at the thrift store. And if you're on my YouTube channel, you know that I'm giving tips about thrift store shopping and how you can find bargains. This is an E.S. Everly plate. He's a very famous Pennsylvania ceramist. He bought it for three bucks and sent this picture to me for an appraisal. What? I think it's worth it. Oh, I wow. love stories like this, that she just found it in a thrift store. And now, okay. would yeah. something like this, I'm assuming a decorative plate, would, this, would there be more than one? This is not like a dinner plate, right? It's one of a kind, and it's an art piece. So it's oh. uh, it looks like a plate, and it's for, by a ceramist or a ceramic artist who is doing this art for art sake. Okay, now, now see, the one of a kind thing that you just said made me totally change my 
my bid. I don't know. I'm starting to get nervous. I don't know. What. I'm just. Uh, You're just writing down I'm anything. Just, yeah. You're panic guessing. I am. I am. <laughs> okay. Seven fifty is what I'm saying. I said five hundred. Two hundred and fifty dollars for a three dollar investment. That is fantastic, That's though. So that cool. is yeah. good job, Sherry. All right, Barbara has a cameo that we want to get to because we showed this already on the, on TV. Look oh, at wow. the look at the carving. Look at the carving, and you can tell if it's an American cameo or an Italian cameo. American cameos are usually less detailed than an Italian cameo. This is an American cameo. Okay. okay. Dates to the early years of the 1900s. What do you think it's worth? Um, uh, is is this a, like a, a gemstone in there? What is it made of? It's a shell. Oh, it's a shell, okay. and they carve away. Okay, I'm so they because, have the two -tone. because we have one more item, and we're running out of time. I'm gonna just. Take a guess. I'm going to mm -hmm. say 50 bucks. I'm going to say $200. $75. Oh. Okay. Okay, I think we're tied we're at this tied point, again. right? We're tied again. This is okay. the deal breaker. Okay. All right, go fast, go fast. Or the tiebreaker, <laughs> not deal breaker. Uh, next up is Brian and a ceramic bird. This is a hoopoe bird from Africa, and I am impressed that I know that. <laughs> oh, we're impressed, too. <laughs> I mean, I don't know a lot about birds. This piece is an Italian Sculpture. It's ceramic with applied ornament. Dates to the early years of the 1900s. And this is uh, like an original, or is this something that was made? It's, mass there, mass there's more than one out there. There's more than one out there. The company would make more than one. Um, okay. How big is it? Like, is it a oh, foot high? Uh, 18 is 12, 18 inches, somewhere in okay. there. Okay. I don't know. One of these. <laughs> I probably shouldn't just quickly guess on something like this, but I'm going to. Do you do you have something? I don't Did like you just my guess. Extra zero. You're like I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to guess. I I'm really I'm guess. afraid. I'm saying eleven hundred. I'm saying two hundred. And eleven hundred for Heather. Two hundred and fifty dollars. You should always like your guess. So, oh. <laughs> wait. So what was it? Two fifty. Two fifty. All right. I should have taken a zero away. I guess. Oh well. Thank you, everybody. And I am just. Yeah. I am so happy for Phyllis. I know. Great so finds nice. this week, yeah. Dr. Lori. This was super. Great finds always, and thanks to everybody from everywhere who's sending me photos. Keep them coming. Keep them coming. We'll get to everybody. All right. All right. Thanks, Dr. Lori. And if you love this game as much as we love this game, then watch for it every Tuesday on PTL. Dr. Lori will be back. And in the meantime, look for Dr. Lori online and on YouTube. You'll find the links at PittsburghTodayLive.com. And keep on sending us your pictures for a future episode on, at PTL at KDKA.com. That's where you can send your pictures. We will get as many of them to Dr. Lori as we can and get them on the air in the weeks ahead.